But you know what? Hey, listen. I, I can Angelo. I can move Angelo. Okay. You can do it here. Yeah. Why don't you guys take this one? Okay. Angelo, can can you can you sit here? Is that okay?
Good evening. Merry Christmas. We're glad you're here. Our celebrant for this uh, evening's Mass is Father Dennis. And in the spirit of Christmas joy, let's now take a few moments to greet and welcome those around us. Let's stand and worship together with our opening song, Joy to the World. Lord Jesus Christ, 
and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim good news of great joy that it will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in spotless clothes lying in the manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father Fred at the three o'clock mass here in church, and I had the three fifteen mass in the gym. So now what we did was kind of swap locations. So Father Fred is there, I am here, and we had about uh, we were about hundred people at the uh, three o'clock mass. We had about hundred and fifty in the gym. Uh, so now we're running uh, close to one hundred here. So. And uh, then also, I'm not sure exactly how many in the gym, but the, the, the early mass in the gym, 315, was kind of a family mass. So uh, to start my holiday, I chose a, uh, a few Christmas jokes. I figured, oh, we got families. Who doesn't enjoy a good joke, right? So, got a few jokes here for you. Why? Was Santa's little helper depressed? <laughs> I don't know. No, because he had very low elf esteem. <laughs> uh, and what do you call a broken? Nicholas. <laughs> and how much did Santa pay for his sleigh? Nothing. It was at the house. <laughs> Are you ready for more? Uh, I'll stop with those. That's good. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> What I did at the uh, 315, it's like, okay, I really don't want to do a whole lot of it again. So, uh, we're going to pray, we're going to play this little video that talks about what is Christmas all about. Which means 
God with us. Simple but yet so profound. God with us. And that is what we celebrate every Christmas. That, that our Father in Heaven has so loved us, even though His people had lost their way, and even though they walked in darkness, and they were held captives in the Babylonian captivity, even though they lost and turned away from God, God never forgot them. And God sent His only begotten Son to be our Savior, to be God with us, Emmanuel, to show us that He never, ever forgets us, even if we forget Him. So that God with us in this time, this is a, probably the most difficult Christmas for a lot of us with the COVID-19 virus. And probably we all know some people who came down with the virus. Maybe we know those who are still suffering from it. And maybe we know people who have died from the virus. And it's, it's, a very, it's very real. And I have celebrated a number of funerals for those who, were, who have died. And we can say, well, what about Christmas to all of us? Well, hopefully what we can say is that in spite of the darkness, and in spite of the sadness, that when we celebrate Christmas, we can celebrate the fact that Christ came into this world as a light, as a light in the darkness. Christ came, us, came into this world to give us joy when there was sadness. Christ came into this world as a promise that we, he would never leave us even if we ourselves feel far from him. We celebrate at Christmas, amen, that great gift given to us by God the Father. So then we do it in different ways. And maybe this year, uh, your celebration is a little bit simpler, understandable, uh, because we gotta be, we got to be careful, and we got to be smart and wise. So that, but it still is Christmas, and we still know that we need a little Christmas, or that little Christmas carol. And I think this year, particularly, we need more than just a little Christmas, but what we need is a great joy of Christmas, the great joy of Christmas that gives us hope, that gives us a reason uh, to continue to, to live, a reason to continue to love, a reason to uh, uh, for a reason to be to be once again uplifted, to be uplifted, in, to be uplifted by Christ the light in the darkness that is sometimes so present. So that we celebrate. Oh yes, we have. What is Christmas all about? Yeah, is it about is it about the toys? Is it about the trees? Is it about the giving? Is it about the, the meals and the carol? Yeah. Uh, it's all part of it. But what is Christmas really about? It is about, it's about Mary, Mary a virgin, a young teenage girl, with her, with her betrothed husband Joseph. Mary given birth to a child, an infant. That child, an infant that holds the promise of the world. That child, an infant that we remember one day grow up. And then, uh, through that darkness of sin, that he will indeed be killed, be killed and crucified on the cross, so that we might have eternal salvation. So we have Mary, the angel today, proclaiming the good news of great joy. And we too experience that great joy and that good news here in church and with our families and friends. So what is Christmas all about? Well, it's about a lot of things, but it's most importantly about Mary giving birth to Jesus, fully human and fully divine from uh, God, the 
Emmanuel, God with us. And as we profess our creed on this Christmas Eve, when we say, and by the Holy Spirit was the incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man, that is what we celebrate, that we will pause and kneel for a moment. I believe in one God, my Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, like light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, cross substantial of the Father. Through the God, all things are made. For us men, for our salvation, he be out of heaven and not of the earth. Brother Joe. 
Jerry Brown, Mike Braun, Chet Wall, Salama Sullivan, Bernie Garrett, and Father Ed Stokas, and all those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray. Lord, hear my prayer. For our dearly departed loved ones, especially Daniel Krivolone, Victor Agalinskis, that they may rest in the peace of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we rejoice as we celebrate the birth of your Son, your most precious gift, who answers the many prayers that we have made, made now, and will continue to make. Listen to our prayers and grant them in your unparalleled generosity through the one whose coming we proclaim, Jesus Christ our Lord. So that, as we recognize in Him God made visible, 
we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we await. Yes, yes. 
time is just meditation, but the deliverance was evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. And for those of you who may be visiting, we're going to just have a quick review on how to receive communion. So we're going to ask you to follow the directions of the uh, ushers. They will escort you out, and as you come out, you're going to have your hands sanitized, rub it in wood, and kind of form a single final line coming up for communion. So respect the surface that we have on the floor. And then as you come up, if you are seated on this side, you're going to come over here to this, this circle, and you're going to receive communion in your hand, put your mask still on, amen. And then you're going to step over to this circle, pull down your mask, place it all to your cross, receive communion, and then go back, uh, go back by the way of the side of the
of that and grateful for all of that. I'm also grateful for the uh, our music people uh, that uh, uh, that uh, have made this uh, will continue to make Christmas very beautiful. And our recording is Mark Cole is celebrating his birthday today, so we wish him a happy birthday to him. God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day, 
is the author of divine generation for us. So may he be the giver even of immortality who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching for silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ is